Holy sh Where's the fucking money, man? Money. Oh, oh my, god. my god! This is the ultimate close range meta, but only if you know how to use it. The Reclaimer 18 is a two shot shotgun with an impressively fast fire rate and a tight spread. Now, while many of you might complain that it's a no skill meta because it's a shotgun, the truth is quite the opposite. Mastery is essential. Listen, guys, if you don't refine certain skills, you are not going to rack up high kill games, whether it's the Reclaimer 18 shotgun or any other future meta shotgun. You will not win any fights and your performance will actually become worse. So this is the best Reclaimer 18 loadout. Be sure to use it in tactical stance. Now let's dive into the four key skills that you need to master so you can become a nightmare for your enemies. Closing the gap. The main challenge with shotguns is the range. After a few meters, you will lose every fight due to the damage drop-off, wider spread, and time between shots. That's why the first skill you need to master is closing the distance between you and your enemy. To do this, always move from cover to cover, ensuring that you stay out of your enemy's line of sights and bullets. And if there is no cover available, simply use smoke grenades to block their vision and move in. Using UAVs and portable radars are also highly important, because once you know where the enemy is, you will know how to navigate your way to them without overexposing yourself. The second skill is the SMS method. Once you're close, there's one more issue left. Your micro positioning between the first and second shotgun shot. Most shotgun users hit their first shot, get excited because their enemy is low HP, and then they stay in their place waiting for that second shot to come out. But if your enemy has decent aim, they'll down you before you can fire again. The solution, the SMS method. Shoot, move, shoot. If you've got cover nearby, such as a corner, use it. Fire your first shot and then duck behind cover to cock your shotgun and then re-engage by peeking, jumping, or even sliding. And with the upcoming Black Ops 6 integration, diving could be also a great move to land that finishing blow. And even if you're caught in the open, simply slide or jump sideways to make yourself a harder target before snapping back on your enemy and landing that second shot. So when using a shotgun, the best way to practice its own pace or the SMS method, as I mentioned before, is to try to shoot once, do a 90 degrees, break line of sight, do 180 to be ready again, and then go back and shoot again. This is something that is very simple, but it does need muscle memory. So go into a private match and just practice looking at the target, going back 180 and looking at the target and rinsing and repeating. Because that is how you're going to move while using a shotgun. And the more of a higher sense that you have, the easier and quicker this is going to be. <laughs> Idiots. And this brings us over to the third skill, flicking. The fucking money, man. Where's the fucking money? You know how to move but you need to perfect your aim coordination with that movement, especially if you're using a shotgun. All right, so let's say this is the enemy target. You already landed your first shot and he's low HP, but you also took some damage, which is gonna be the case most of the times. Most players would just go back to cover, which is the correct step. But after that, they just strafe and re-peek like this. The problem with that is the enemy might be holding an angle and that might get you killed, especially if the enemy is at a distance where you need to land a third and sometimes a fourth shot. So instead of doing that, what you need to do is you need to slide and kill the enemy or jump and kill the enemy. The problem with that is you need to learn how to flick. And what I mean by that is if you're just strafing, you're already pre-aiming. But when you have to slide, you have to know how to turn 90 degrees and aim at the target. And the same thing for jumping. The reason I'm saying that is because you're like looking like this. You hit a 90 degrees to run this way and then another 180 to prepare yourself to run. You have to run while looking in this direction so you have the biggest momentum while you're sliding or jumping and soon diving. And once you do that, you need to learn how to coordinate your aim with your movement. And that is why you have to practice doing 90 degree turns, whether to the right, left or whatever. The best way to practice this is to do it without the slides and the jumps at all. So just simply go into the firing range with nobody in it, just by yourself, walk and then do 90 degrees like this. Walk and do 90 degrees like this, both right and left. Get used to this pattern with your controller or your mouse and once you feel comfortable by doing that add a jump and then add a slide 
or a slide cancel in this case. Now keep in mind, this will help you a lot with the shotgun specifically, but this is a skill that you should master with any SMG as well or any AR. And once you feel comfortable doing 90 degree turns, you need to practice adding or taking away a bit more from that 90 degrees. Because in reality, and especially in Warzone, your enemy is not always going to be in the same exact spot at a 90 degree turn. So let's say this is a target, this is way less than 90 degrees. I'm gonna do the same thing again, jump and look at the target. Go back, slide cancel, look at the target. Slide cancel, jump, look at the target. And I'm also tracking the target while I'm jumping. And the last thing you can do to improve your flicks is to pick two random targets in the fighting range or in a private match and just go from one target to another. So example, let's say this, this and this. So I'm gonna practice going from one spot to the other and back and forth, back and forth as much as I can. And you'll see those. there's those small micro adjustments which are completely normal. And if you want more information on how to improve your aim, whether it's flicking, tracking, recoil control, or centering, I have a three-part guide that will perfect every single part of that just for you. The link will be in the description below. And for the last part, this isn't a skill, but more of a game-changing perk. Combat Scouts and Smoke Grenades, the perfect combination. Combat Scout is a killer tool no matter what weapon you are using. But paired with a shotgun, it's a guaranteed GG's. Once you get a live mark with your first shot, take cover as mentioned earlier. But now you will know exactly where to aim when you are re-engaging, even if the enemy tries to reposition. And if you combine this with smoke grenades, you'll be shooting them before they even realize where you are. Of course, there are more ways to use combat scout and smoke grenades. And if you're not taking full advantage of these tools like I am, you are missing out on insanely easy high kill games. To see how effective they are and to learn how to master them, check out this video mentioned right somewhere over here and I'll also link it down in the description below. Good luck with your shotgun practice and if you need help on any topic, even if it sounds super hard or easy, comment down below what you are struggling with and I'll make a video to help you out. And one more thing, I know that a lot of you want to become the best players, you want to dominate, you want to have that insane aim, that movement, that awareness and all those things that make a player a great player. And I know how hard and frustrating it could be because where do you start, how do you start and each person's case is different than the other. The good news is that I have helped thousands of players achieve that. So click on the link below and book a free consultation call with me so I can take your gameplay to the next level.